We better go to another one, man. Uh, it's gonna be on YouTube. I so wanna go check it out. Between the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Super Bowl. The Chiefs and Packers are underway. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. He'll start on the ground here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Thirteen yards remaining on second down. Sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Let's get it. Let's go. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. His throw incomplete. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. No, no. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. We were wondering what they would do defensively to disrupt Patrick Mahomes. Sacking him on the first drive, that's a really good way to set a tone. The last thing you want to do is let him get established in the pocket where he can set his feet and throw wherever he wants to. Even though he does it well on the run and on the move, you definitely want to get him off the spot in the pocket. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They'll run for the first time with Jarek McKinnon. And he'll work down inside the 45. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. He's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. That is brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. Mahomes throwing on fourth. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. So a big play there on fourth. And now first and ten at the 30. 
Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it's second and goal. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Caught on the slant. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point, ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Butker now to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 20. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. And here's Jones again on second down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up the third down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and you know, normally we focus on the media, right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own side and in his locker room? Because I think the team's going to look at my like, coach. Well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You want some explanations. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. ready to get their next drive underway. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have in this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. And still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. They'll try to run for the Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. To throw is Rodgers. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. We know he has a lot of confidence in his arm and likes to force it downfield, but the coverage was tight there. Fortunate it wasn't picked off. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Jones. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 42 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, it's Jones. Shreds him with a stiff arm. Has some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have got it back to within a score. Well, what a first half he's had running the football. Another terrific run there, and this one finds the end zone. Well, we know he's a guy that's capable of coming up with big plays in the running game, and his offensive line knows it as well. That keeps them motivated, looking for those extra blocks to give him room to run downfield. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass, so you spread people out and decide to run the football. You often find good running lanes. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. On second and ten, Mahomes, he finds McKinnon, complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Mahomes to throw once more. Finding Kelsey once again. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Mahomes now the throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. now on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now a signal in the timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And that'll boost their lead to nine. It's 17-8. 
so a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a true hold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. Fielded right around the eight. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. Nixon now from his end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two score games start in the third quarter. But you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive. Because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. They'll go again to Jones. And he's got some space here. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. And even 100 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Rodgers now on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now Jones. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll try again with Jones. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Jones will score. Touchdown, Packers. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. 
But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Now we'll throw here to his running back. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Second down, another shot for Jones. He gets this down to the three. Brought the power run out of the bag, but couldn't do a ton with it. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down the two-yard line. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Packers have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Well, an all-out battle on fourth and goal. Offense versus defense, and the offense won it. And I'm just wondering what was going through the minds of the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Were they playing the run too much? Were they not focused that the whole playbook was open in that situation? Give the offensive guys a lot of credit. I just wonder what the defensive guys were thinking. Rodgers will throw for it. And that is caught for the two points. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When we talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now something they never really did before. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now here's Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. 